Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Um, welcome back. This is Radiant Guardians. My name is Crispy and boy, have I got some really good information for you. Um, I'm going to start out with, uh, how's everybody doing? <laughs> oh, you know, it's the energies that are just coming in, that are pouring in. Oh my goodness. We're taking in so much energy, right? And sometimes it can, we can just feel really flat. Other times we can just feel a little bit off, you know? And then other times we're just transmuted all and uh, let it go. But yeah, so much energy has been coming in and it's just been like um kind of like a roller coaster ride kind of thing you know, it kind of feels that way you know um gosh i want to talk to you guys about um just a few comments that i've read you know in certain um youtube channels um among people and you know some of the things that i read I uh, can see some concerns that um, people may have and that's really understandable given the time that of the great ascension and the awakening that we're going through everybody's kind of like at their you know different stages of awakening different stages of ascension and um, different levels you know and how to navigate these times and how to get through it all right well the one thing that really came to me is that um people are just undergoing a lot of human suffering and i just i'll read something to you that i wrote down in my notes and then i'll just elaborate a little bit more on it all right so the end to all human suffering is entirely up to you it is up to us our suffering ends when we remember who we are who we are is not the mind I think I shared that in a video um, about um, consciousness, that we are consciousness, soul, that we are not the mind, but that we are consciousness. So who we truly are, yes, who we truly are is consciousness. That's who we are. So you see, when we reincarnate into these bodies, at birth we were given a label we were given a name all right and even while we were in the womb we knew who we were we incarnated into these vessels we incarnated into these bodies we knew who we were We absolutely had full memory of who we were when we came into these bodies, incarnated into these vessels, these bodies. And we had full awareness, full awareness of who we were and who we are. But at the moment, watch this, at the moment of birth, that is when the game changer happened. We were given a name by no other than our parents. So everything started to change at that point at birth 
Now let me say this again. Right? To end all human suffering. To end all human suffering and everything that's going on in your life about who we are, where we come from, to end all that, right? It's all about remembering who we are. When we remember who we are, that's when all human suffering ends. It's when we can come back to that place of remembrance. Remembrance of who you are. Not who your labels, not who your labels are telling you that you are. Not your story, not your thinking, not your mind, not your ego. That is the false stuff. That is not the real you. Those were programs. You were programmed at birth to think a certain way. Oh yeah. Given a name at birth. Celebrate birthdays. Oh, you're just so programmed. Right at birth. And hence, right up until today, is the reason why you can't remember who you were. Because of all the programs that you've been programmed with. This 3D world that we came into, that we were birthed into, it was all designed for you to forget. It was all designed in such a way for you to be enslaved. For you to be To forget who you were. And that's why so many of us, right? So many of us have forgotten who we are. It's because of all the programs that we've been downloaded with. Right from birth. From growing up. No wonder we can't remember anything. No wonder we can't remember the lives that we had before this one. I mean, just think for a minute right now that if you... If your parents were awakened to their full awareness of who they were or who they are, and... They kept telling you, growing up, that you are consciousness, that you are soul, that's who you are. And that you've incarnated here for a very special purpose, for a very special mission. Now, imagine that if you grew up with parents that kept reminding you of who you are and what your purpose may have been to be incarnated here on planet Earth. I mean, think about it. You would not be programmed with all the programs that you've been programmed with at the moment, you know, to think a certain way, to live a certain way, to be a certain way, Right? But that you that you um, that you are a star seed, you know, if they had been parents that taught you that you were a star seed 
that you are a way shy, a light worker, that you are divine, beautiful earth angel, maybe an earth seed, star seed, you know. Wouldn't that be so amazing? Because then it'd be like, as you grow up, you'd be like, I know exactly who I am. And you could have all of your memories all intact without even the slightest one bit of it being erased. Well, not so much erased. Let's not say that, you know, your memories are erased and that you can't actually remember who you are or that they've been clean slated and then that's about it. But I'm pretty, pretty sure that it's in the back there somewhere of, you know, all your memories of who you are, right through your entire being, right through your entire vessel, through your um, DNA, through your avatar, through everything, because like these bodies, these computers, they have a, they have a good memory of who and what we are. So, at birth you're given a new name. This is where the programming starts. It starts right there. Your story begins. It is a story that is made up for you to believe that that is who you are. It's like, okay, let's start with the first page, right? Let's start with the first page of who you are. All right. You come into the world at birth. You get given a name by your parents. Um, you start to celebrate your first birthday. Your first picture is taken. You know, all these things. Meanwhile, as a infant, unable to communicate, unable to talk, unable to say, hey, why are you calling me by that name? That, that's not my name. My name is so-and-so. That is not the name that I was given. That is not my name. You feeling me? You're an infant. You're a baby. Probably just like, what, six days old, ten days old, one week, two weeks, one month. And you've been trying to communicate to your parents and trying to tell them, hey, stop calling me by that name, that is not my name. This is who I am. Why do you keep calling me that? That's not my name. And we sometimes often wonder why babies tend to cry a lot. And we kind of try to figure out, okay, maybe they're wet, maybe they're hungry, maybe they're um, tired. Or just maybe, just maybe, they're trying to communicate to you that you're calling them by the wrong name. Maybe they're just trying to communicate to you that that is not who they are. Maybe they're trying to communicate to you and tell you who exactly they are. But they can't. They don't have a voice yet. All they can do is cry and try and communicate that way. And it may be frustrating and confusing for them because they're trying to communicate to you the parent that whatever name that you're given them is not who they are. And they're trying to tell you who they are. But they cannot. And so, before a baby can even walk or take its first steps and talk, now they're being programmed with their new name, with their new story, with their new lives. 
which by the way is exactly what it is it is just a story made up about you it's not who you are it's not your real self it's not your true self it is just a story that is made up all about you those are the downloads And those are the things that we have to unlearn and relearn. Undo it. Undo it all. Because who you are, the real you, is consciousness. Soul. That's you. That's who you are. But the thing is, is that we get told that we are a truck driver, doctor, rugby player, gym instructor, school teacher, pastor, grocery manager, taxi driver, lawyer, counsellor, bank teller, waitress, university student. And all of those titles and all of those labels come about because of the schools that we've gone through. All the schools that we've gone to, we've gone to high school, college, university, primary school, daycare. And every single one of them has programmed you to believing that who you are today is the real you but I'm here to tell you something other than that something more truth you want to know the truth the truth is is that you are consciousness soul you are not your mind you are not your ego you are not your thinker story you're not your personality, you're not your emotions, you are consciousness. But at birth you were labelled with a name, and then the programs began. Oh, a story was made up about you. To, you know, to think a certain way, to live a certain way, to be a certain way, right? Go to church, go to school. Those where all the programs are, by the way. All the way through your life. Until you experience an awakening. An awakening to your truth. Awakening to who you really are. What did I share in my recent video? Or previous one body mind soul hmm. so as we are programmed and given certain titles given certain labels go to school right learn certain things and then as we go to school, we, well, maybe we're going to become a lawyer. So we go and study law. And then we get a job as a lawyer. And then that is like our label and our title is now that um, I'm a lawyer. And you take on that identity, right? You take on that identity of being a truck driver maybe a grocery manager taxi driver a bank teller a doctor maybe a surgeon gym instructor you take on all those titles because you've gone to school right and you've been programmed 
to think a certain way, to live a certain way, to be a certain way. But that's not who you are. You are not your mind. You are not your personality. You are not your ego. You are not your stories. You are not that person. You are consciousness. And we are in the time right now. We are in the time of remembrance of who we really are. That's where we are at right now. I had a revelation come to me about this. And that's why I'm sharing this with you guys. Because that's what the awakening is about. The awakening is about waking up to your true self. And so it's like, well, what is that? You know, what is self? Well, let me tell you what you're not. You are not your mind. You are not your personality. You are not your ego. You are not your story. You are not your emotions. You are not... Your labels. You are not Stephen who works on the checkout. You are not the lawyer that works nine to five. You are not Zofta. You are consciousness. Soul. And this is what I'm getting a revelation about. And I wanted to share this with you because it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up and realize who you are. So we've just been given this false label of identity entity. And for all of us to believe that we are our stories. Because we've gone to primary school, right? And we grew up learning a certain way and being a certain way. And we grew up going to primary school, going off intermediate school, going to high school, all the way through life. We're being told that's who we are. But that's not the truth. That is not who you are. Your whole life, you've been just labelled all of those labels. You know, even given a culture, right? To believe a certain way, think a certain way, act a certain way, behave a certain way, be a certain way. Maybe you want to be a movie star, who knows? A singer? And I'm not saying that those are bad things. I mean, we can have the most amazing talents, and which are really wonderful. But when you come into a realisation of who you really are and your origin and where you came from, now that's a different story altogether. But the thing is, is just I wanted to get past this. Why are humans suffering? Why are they going through so much suffering? Because it's a human condition. You've been conditioned a certain way. 
You've been labelled a certain way. You've been programmed a certain way and it's all been designed to control you. And you know something. The one thing I can tell you about ego is that it always wants to be in control. Oh, we are going so deep down some rabbit holes. Because this is a revelation that came to me and I just had to share it with you guys. You are not your mind. You are not your story. You are not your personality. You are not your labels. Those are all programs designed to keep you enslaved in the 3D matrix. And the awakening, the awakening that everyone is going through right now is awakening of their truth of who they are. And awakening to the truth of all of those that want to keep us small. Keep us continuing on a path of stress, anxiety, being stuck in our mind because we get all these voices. Sometimes we get these voices, right? And we can't switch it off, we can't turn it off or anything like that. But you can. You can stop all the voices and all the noise when you go in. And you come into a place of stillness. You come into a place of peace. You come into a place of finding and discovering who you really are. Wow. I've seen so many um, videos, you know, so many people talking about um, the ascension, the awakening, right? Sharing about their lives, sharing about um, their ascending and their remembrance of who they are. And it's just, it's really great. It is. Because it helps others. And that's what we're all about. We're all about helping one another. Helping each other to awaken to the truth. Now, some people have um, taken their red pill, right? They know about all the corruption, right? all the corruption and everything that's going on in the governments and everything like that. And a lot of us that have awakened to the truth, we can see, we can see the forest through the trees now. We can see everything. We can see through all the bullshit that's going on. We can see the whole show playing out. Because we've just come out of it, right? We've taken a step back. And now we just observe and we watch. And we look. And we see. We see everything for what it is. And everything that has been exposed out into the light, out into the open. For all to see. And I've shared in my other videos about the Phantom Matrix. Kind of like really analysed it. Breaking it down. Picking it apart. Alright. Just so 
I could actually give you guys a clear vision of what that might look like. And there are NPCs, right, that are going to turn up in your life. And these NPCs can be so toxic. Oh my goodness, are they what? It can be a little bit of a challenge. Maybe it's a test, who knows? The one thing is, is that when you come back here and you align with yourself, you come back in right here. Because we're living in a simulation, a 3D matrix simulation. We may be higher states of consciousness awareness, like to the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th dimensional high consciousness awareness and yet we're still here in the physical vessel body right to the fourth dimension but in higher states of consciousness awareness where we can see feel sense Everything. Everything. Wide awake, guys. Wide awake. And it's through discernment. Use your discernment, right? But here's, here's another thing that I usually use is that I feel the vibration. I feel the vibration and I read body language. I read vibration frequency. I read the energies that come from people or NPCs. And you want to know something. Oh my goodness. You want to know something else? is that you don't even have to say a word. You don't even have to say a word. I can read your energy. I can read your vibration. You don't even have to say anything. Was I able to do that before? My awakening? My walk-in? No. Couldn't even... Oh. I wouldn't even know my left foot from my right. But the thing is, is that because I had a walking experience, I was catapulted in my awakening. Catapulted into this ascension. And here I am now making videos and content and uh, giving my truth speaking my truth, bringing the light to you guys, bringing some light code activators to activate you guys, bringing my truth. I'm going to talk more on this. I'm going to talk more on who we really are. And boy, I tell you now, We knew who we were. When we came in as babies, now, I'm going to have to say that I didn't actually come in as a baby. So my consciousness came in as a walk-in. But for the rest of you guys that may have been birthed, and that was your incarnation or reincarnation, you had full awareness of who you were. You had your full awareness. That was a revelation that came to me. That was a download that came to me. That was showing me that each and every one of us came in 
with a full awareness and they knew the dark cats already knew the cabal or the archons the anunnaki the you know those guys they knew they already knew and they also knew that if we they could you know start these programs going that we wouldn't actually even remember mind control right mind control programs downloads changing everything right creating a story creating a book a story about who you are who you're supposed to be it's like picking up a a book and saying right today i'm going to write a story and the story is going to be about tim tim was born on a certain day tim went to daycare kim went to primary school kim went to um intermediate school kim went to high school then to university and now kim is a nurse at someone's side hospital and that is her identity because a book was written about her and that's who she is. She's no longer the consciousness or the remembrance of who she is. Consciousness, soul, star seed, way shot, light worker. She's no longer that anymore because she can't remember. All she can remember is what she's been told. And programmed to believe that who she is because she doesn't know she doesn't know any better she she wouldn't even have a clue anymore because the stories that they created for her right the stories that they created for her growing up has given her a new identity a false identity well guys I hope you got something from that I want to share more about that and we're gonna go deep deep down this rabbit hole because you need to know the truth you need to know the truth and that's why there is so much human suffering in the world today that's why people are so screwed up That's why there's a lot of anxiety, that's why there's depression, that's why there's mental illness, mental health issues. It's because people are lost. The story that they've been created with and given, it doesn't even feel like them anymore. It doesn't even fit. It's like you've given, it's like you've been dressed a certain way and the clothes that have been put on you, right? By your parents. They get you some clothes and dress you up a certain way and they say, that's it, that's you. But are you even happy with what you're wearing? It's like, oh my God, no, hell no. I'm not going to go out and dress like this. You're not taking me down to the supermarket and, or to town and dress like that. But do you have a choice? <laughs> no. Because that's a suit that they've given you. All right. All right, guys. I hope you got something out of that and that resonated for you. Um, we're going to go deep on this. We're going to go deep into that rabbit hole. And we're going to unearth the very truth. Okay. So I love you guys and thank you to my new subscribers.
Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Don't forget to also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any content and have a wonderful and beautiful week. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for your continuous strength, love and support. And thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Bye.